Hi, my name is Dave Mitchell. I'm here to talk about cloud service providers. We're seeing, we're seeing companies of all types looking to become cloud service providers. These can include telecom companies, managed service providers, ISVs, and systems integrators. Although the background of these companies can be very different, they typically face the same kind of business and technical challenges. On the business side, they're interested in seeing how they can find new customers, bring new services to market, and put new pricing models in place to generate new revenue streams. From a technical point of view, they're looking for an infrastructure that is scalable and secure and can go up and down in terms of demand. Critical success factor for a cloud service provider is to have a reliable and secure environment that allows them to create, manage, and monetize cloud services. This environment must allow them to scale up and down very rapidly in terms of demand it must allow them to be able to bring out multi-tenant solutions for their clients and allow them to try new pricing models based on their clients' demand. As we work with cloud service providers, we're really seeing that there are three defined projects that occur most of the time. First of all, we have a number of cloud service providers that are looking for IBM to help them build their cloud infrastructure. Secondly, we have a group of partners that are looking to work with IBM to help them enable their applications to be delivered as cloud services. And finally, we have a group of partners that have already enabled their solutions to be delivered as a cloud service, and their interest is how IBM can help them to extend their applications to deliver more value as a cloud service. So let's start with building the cloud infrastructure. This is where we work with partners that are interested in building out their cloud infrastructure on which they're going to deliver cloud services to their clients. There are a number of things that they're looking for from IBM. First of all, they were interested in server virtualization, image management, and the ability to charge back for services as they're delivered. So one example of a cloud service provider that IBM has worked with to help them build the cloud infrastructure is VNTT. VNTT is a Vietnamese telecom company that was looking to build a cloud infrastructure so they could deliver new cloud services to their clients. They worked with IBM, and IBM has helped them to save more than $75 million over five years and they generated a 370% ROI in the first year alone. The second kind of project that we typically see partners interested in working with us on is around enabling their applications to be delivered as cloud services. So in this situation, our partner may not be interested in actually building out their own cloud infrastructure. They may be looking to use somebody else's cloud infrastructure on which to deliver their cloud application. We work with these companies to help them enable their applications to be delivered as cloud services. We offer them technology to deliver their services in a, in a cloud model, and we also offer them flexible pricing models so they can align their costs with their revenue model. So an example of a cloud service provider who we worked with to help them to enable their applications in the cloud is Corrent Technologies. And here you can hear more now from Faisy, their CEO. There are two kinds of SaaS companies out there, software as a service. The classic kind, successful ones like Salesforce.com, SuccessFactors, and NetSuite, all billion plus in market cap. And there is the other kind of SaaS called SoSaaS, S-O-SaaS, same old software as a service. These are the companies that haven't invested in re-architecting and modernizing their solution. Specifically, they're not multi-tenant. Therefore, they're not sustainable. So beware of which kind of SaaS companies you're dealing with, true, classic, efficient SaaS, or so SaaS. Core and technology provides both the business aspect of SaaS as well as the technology angle for SaaS. On a business angle, you need to have a lot of capabilities to run your solution as a business, including tenant provisioning, user management, resource management, subscription management, billing, reporting, and everything else that a SaaS company has that the software company didn't need to have. Secondly, the technology angle of a SaaS company. At the core of successful billion-dollar-plus SaaS companies are the concept of multi-tenancy. Corrent's multi-tenant server is the first productized multi-tenancy that can plugs in. That solution plugs in into an existing solution and instantly transforms it into a robust, efficient, multi-tenant SaaS solution that is sustainable. I believe that IBM's smart cloud strategy is very smart. IBM took its time to understand the customer's requirement, the market's requirements, from security, reliability, performance, quality of service, and came up with a cloud 
infrastructure as a service offering that, that caters to the need of people who need all those enterprise-grade level uh, features and function and capabilities. So we are very pleased to be a partner with the IBM Smarter Cloud. The third and final kind of project that we work with partners around is those partners that already have cloud applications and they're looking to extend those applications in the cloud. In this case, we're working with an existing cloud service provider to deliver more value for their clients. And we look at areas like analytics, social business, and integration for them to add new capabilities and new value to their service. An example of a cloud service provider who we've worked with to extend their applications in the cloud is Sugar CRM. And to hear more about how they worked with IBM, here's Larry, their CEO. Thank you. Great to be here today. We're excited to be able to announce Sugar CRM on the IBM Smart Cloud Enterprise. Uh, IBM Smart Cloud Enterprise really enables us to, to offer a solution to our customers that has a level of service, a level of reliability, a level of security, and delivered globally that we can on any other cloud solution. Sugar CRM provides customer relationship management or CRM software. That software enables our users, typically a sales rep, to, to gain and retain and connect with their customers. Well, salespeople are on the road constantly. With a cloud solution, they're able to access information about their customers in their customer relationship management CRM system wherever they are. We support a variety of platforms for them to do that, uh, especially tablets. Tablets is a major focus of ours. Uh, we support all of the major tablet operating systems. One of the things that any CRM user needs is information. How, what are their forecasts? What's happening with sales? Uh, by integrating with Cogo, Cognos, we're able to bring a level of reporting to those customers we can't otherwise give them. So if you're interested in becoming a cloud service provider, the time has come to rethink IT and reinvent business. The questions you should ask yourself will really depend on whether you are already a cloud service provider or whether you're thinking of becoming one. If you're thinking of becoming a cloud service provider, you need to decide first and foremost, do you need to build the cloud infrastructure yourself or can you use a third party provider? Another question is, are you developing a new service to be delivered as a cloud service, or are you enabling something that already exists? And thirdly, what kind of service level agreement do you need? Now, for those companies that are already cloud service providers, some of the questions you may ask are, how is my application integrated with other cloud services and data that resides on premise? Can I provide analytics with part of my solution? And should I be looking to add social business to my capabilities? So I hope this has been useful for you, and if you're interested in becoming a cloud service provider, you can find out more about IBM Technologies and our partner program, the IBM Cloud Specialty, by visiting www.ibm.com slash cloud slash partner. Thank you.